Well, Jim, let's go to one of the people out there who listen. Big Andy in Louisville, Kentucky sent in this question, and we talk about the fact that sometimes we, or you specifically, will mention someone or something and use a term that not everyone may know. Here's Big Andy's question. Okay. I've been hearing the term spot show for almost two years now. Oh, good Lord. And while I understand what spots and shows are, (laughs) I have not heard, and I'm very curious, as to what the actual definition of a spot show is. I was hoping you could update your new listeners on the meaning. Well, you know, actually, that's like, what's the meaning of bread? But then, as you start thinking about it, they don't have spot shows anymore, so I guess the equivalent, if it was like, what's bread, would the problem is they don't sell bread anymore. If If you hadn't had bread available in 25 years, would it still be, would people be asking what's bread? I guess they would. Um, A spot show. In wrestling, in the territories, there were basically two different kinds of house shows. There was your regular house shows in your regular towns that you ran every week or every two weeks or every month, whatever territory it was. If If it was the Memphis Territory, your regular weekly house shows were Memphis, Louisville, Evansville, Indiana, Nashville, Tennessee. Then various other times, other towns might have been weekly, Jackson, Tennessee, or whatever the case. In Florida, it would have been Tampa, Orlando, uh, Miami Beach, Jacksonville, whatever the case. Spot shows were shows that were only run once a year, once every six months, or once in a while. The little high school gyms, the smaller towns that weren't regular towns, that was a spot show because you went to the spot, had a show. I don't know how they exactly named it that, but a spot show was a house show that was in a smaller town or not a town that you regularly ran, and it was just to go make like a little personal appearance. And and we've talked about these spot shows in in some territories, you'd go to a little high school gym or a school gym somewhere or a rec center, and there would be more people in that building than there would be in the population of that particular town because they would come from all over if you were out in the woods. That's a spot show. That's why, you know, again, you had to learn in the territory days to work two different kinds of matches at least because you had your house show match where you're in the big town, you're coming back in two weeks with a return match, you got to hit the finish, you got thousands of people there, you have to fucking be on your toes. On a spot show, the people are just glad to see you in person. They don't see anybody else from television in Dungannon, Virginia, or Clarefield, Tennessee. I went to Smoky Mountain Wrestling. I saw Knoxville, I saw Johnson City. When I went to Lenore, North Carolina, is that a spot right. show? Lenore was kind of a spot show. We would run Lenore two or three times a year, Lenore or Morganton, one or the other, because we had a small TV station, uh, WHKY TV 14 in Hickory. It's now Hickory, North Carolina, that is. I Like everybody knows where Hickory is. It's now a, some kind of news or weather station on full cable coverage in Charlotte. But at the time, it was a low-power independent in Hickory. So we would run a few times a year off of that. So it's kind of not really one or the other. But if you you went to, again, Wise, Virginia, or Sneedville, Tennessee, or Everts, Kentucky, that was a spot show. And that was purely, again, the match. The people see you in person. You got a lot of kids, so you're not going to be trying to, you know, commit mayhem and have a lot of blood and chair shots and everything. You're having crowd pleasing, entertaining matches where the baby face goes over usually in the end. And that's a spot show. And that's a little bit less of a payoff. So you do a little bit less of dangerous shit. You don't take big bumps. That's where you learn to work people and to entertain people without putting mileage on your body. Because the spot, if you weren't wrestling a house show, you were wrestling a spot show. Because did we mention in the territories, you didn't get days off every once in a while. But these guys now will wrestle once or twice a week. 
and they will do everything they know. Whereas when guys were doing 10 matches a week, every week, including TV tapings, you had to ascertain the importance of each and decide how much of yourself you were going to put on the line and how good you were at making people happy and entertained without realizing that you weren't killing yourself. And some guys were mastered. Bill Dundee could have the best wrestling match that you've ever seen in your life with Billy Robinson. Go 40 minutes, be completely serious, fucking snug work, goddamn hell of a display. Or he could go out at a spot show and he could do 20 minutes and have the people standing up and throwing babies in the air and hardly ever fall down. Because, of course, now the heels are taking plenty of bumps. But it just it's two different kinds of thing. But that's a spot show, a smaller town that's run irregularly and is basically there to fill in your schedule in between the regular towns where you make the most of your money. And I guess to put it in modern terms, when you say there are no more spot shows, when you run barely any house shows at all, clearly there would be no spot shows because you yeah. have house shows. Yeah, there's, I mean, now everything is just a show of some description because even if, even if you're in a little small high school gym somewhere, that's the only show you're running that month. You, that ain't a spot show. That's your show. And there are really no such thing as spot shows anymore. A, a maybe Joe Kazana might be running them down in South Tennessee because he's old school, but the idea of a spot show was that the local football team at the high school needs new uniforms. So the boost booster club calls the wrestling promotion says, can you bring a show here live to our school to raise money for our uniforms? You know, and the, and the sponsor group gets 25% of the gate and the food and drink concession. And in return provides the building rent free and all of the local advertising for free. And then the, the, the wrestling promotion just shows up with the fucking ring and puts on the show. And that's so you pay the boys and you pay the ring crew and all the rest of the money goes back to the office because you had no other expenses because the local sponsoring group did everything for you. And if they did it well and you guided them right, then they got everybody in town to come and buy a $5 ticket and they make money and you make money. And that was the way that every territory wrestling promotion filled in their schedules. And in some cases, like I mentioned, you know, it, you could, it could be a death of a thousand miseries where you show up at some place in the middle of nowhere and you got 72 people there, or it could be in Biloxi, not Biloxi, but uh, Bogalusa, Louisiana, as we mentioned before, where Watts did a spot show one time and drew over 4,000 people to the high school football field in Bogalusa. That was a spot show. By God, the Mid-South Wrestling carted home somewhere around 20 thousand dollars that night. So it, it just depends.